Okay guys, here I am again today. I got a new fluid art pour that I'm going to do, or um, acrylic pour if you like. Uh, today I'm doing something a little bit different in terms of the uh, colours I'm using. I'm actually, um, as I said in my last few videos, as a screen printer for 25 plus years working for other people. I still am a screen printer now, but I work for myself. <coughs> And I've been trying for a while to get my inks, my water-based inks, to work with fluid art. And those were actually the very first things that um, I started to play with until I did the Shelley art course and invested in some acrylic paints. But since learning Shelley art's technique and with a cell activator and everything, I'm having another crack at my inks today. And I've put in Shelley Art's um, medium, um, the mix that she does for her medium, which is what you mix with the paints. Uh, usually a two paint to one medium mix. So what I've done is I've done that same mix with using Shelley Art's medium uh, in my inks. And um, from what I can see so far, they kind of don't look too bad, but we're not going to find out until... <clears throat> we actually do it so without any further ado here we go here's the base the pillow so to speak we're going to see how this goes hopefully it'll uh, come out all right but if it doesn't it doesn't I haven't lost anything other than a couple of bucks worth of screen printing ink which is by the way a lot cheaper than acrylic paints you can get a litre of uh, water-based screen printing ink. The one I use is called Permaset. That's a top shelf uh, variety of uh, water-based ink. Okay, so here comes the first one. The colours I'm using today are yellow, glow pink, junior navy, and obviously the cell activator. So here's the first dollop. It's a yellow. I'll just do one of each. <gasps> Now for the pink. See, I didn't put much pink on that bit, so I'll put a little bit more in. There we go. <coughs> now for the junior navy. Do a little stir and plonk him right in the middle. Alright. Now for the cell activator, a little stir. I'll put two dollops of this one because it just doesn't seem to come out well like the other ones. Uh, a tiny bit more, just a tiny dollop or a half a dollop. All right. Okay. Here comes the blow. I'll just blow in the middle and then out to the four corners. See how we go. I'll spin it towards you guys. Two. Okay, it appears we've got some interesting things happening there. I'll uh, just bring it up so you guys can see a bit better. And uh, sorry about the shakes, I am a vapor, many years of abuse. <laughs> okay, so we'll let that middle rise. I'll bring that in, sorry. I'll let that middle rise. Uh, this frame that I'm using is 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters square. And I've painted it black and I've stuck some ice cream sticks or hot glued them on the back of the frame just so I uh, can move it easier and not get paint all over me. Um, what I've also done then is I've cut a piece of transparency, also known as vellum, uh, but this is the, the crystal clear one. And I've put a tiny little 
um, snippet of double sided paint on each end and I've oh, it's double sided paint, double sided tape uh, and, and adhered that down so it doesn't slip off while I'm moving it around so let's see if that middle's moving now no, it's still not moving, let's give it a little wriggle jiggle see if we can uh, get it to uh, do what we want it to do okay it appears that cell activator has been overtaken by the blue it's not totally yucky it just means that the <clears throat> what I would normally have liked to have been white uh, lines white webbing through there is actually blue but you know as I said I'm actually using screen printing inks here as opposed to acrylic paint and you can see through through here up the top corner is some interesting things happening with the ink there some real blending going on there um, <clears throat> let's see if it's moving now it's, it's almost moving at the same time so we'll, we'll come down to your corner first guys it's the one closest to you we'll stretch it out over there oh that's not working too good the middle oh let's just do it stretch it out over to you go that way there we go now we'll bring the middle back I'll spin it around to you bring the middle back so we'll come to the opposing corner in a second and what I do um, guys as I've explained in my other videos my other tutorials is it isn't necessarily this artwork that I'm doing here now um, that isn't necessarily what I'm after and when I say that what I mean is I'll just come down to that corner now <clears throat> I don't actually do this for the artwork itself as in like a finished product I actually come in I take a photo of the finished product while it's still wet I take many photos actually and I take those into Coral Draw and I may only take a snippet of the, the, the design itself and then what I do is I manipulate it and I get it to the way that I want it okay that's looking pretty good I'm pretty happy with that so far I'll just bring that back into the middle before I go to the other two corners um, what was I saying yeah so I just it does the, the the actual fluid pour the acrylic pour doesn't have to be a hundred percent acceptable or correct in terms of a you know a successful pour um, because as I said I only need a snippet so I take that into coral draw I manipulate it and then I do various things with that um, I do leggings uh, swimsuits and for the leggings and swimsuits I use a, a company called Printful um, they're really good I've never had a problem with them and the technique that they do for me which is all over printing it's called sublimation printing and uh, they do that on like polyester blends so <clears throat> oh, it hasn't quite gone over the edge so I'll just do that a little bit more there we go alright we'll spin that back around to you we'll bring that middle back to the middle you see how the middles right up here now we want to sort of get that back into the middle so the, only, the the quickest way to do that is just to come down to that corner I think so yeah so I do uh, dresses uh, so I haven't done dresses for a while I'm mainly doing uh, swimsuits and leggings at the moment and I also do LED floating LED lamps and how I do those is I uh, once again I'll take a photo of whatever fluid pour I'm doing and take it into coral drawer and blow it up into the correct sizes that I need and then I'll um, take the colors out of that I'll grab the colors the yellow magenta cyan and black uh, through a special program I have and then I'll run those positives or those pieces of film through my Epson printer print them out onto some transparency film uh, I've got special inks for that and then I burn those positives onto a silk screen and then I print them on a silk screen the, the four colors um, you'd be surprised how well 
these fluid art type pieces come out in terms of positives which are then burnt onto a screen and then screen printed onto whatever media you choose. Mine is fabric, 100% cotton, because I specialize in uh, water-based inks. Okay, guys, that's the finished product there. I'll bring that up for you to have a look at. I'm actually pretty, more than pretty happy with that. The reason I'm happy is because <clears throat> I just felt inside that I would be able to do something with my screen printing inks. So once again, I'll just quickly give you the name of those inks. Um, that's Permaset Aqua Range that I use. They're a top shelf brand of screen printing inks, uh, water-based. And yeah, so what I'll do now, guys, is I really, really like that, um, especially this uh, middle section here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that into take some photos, take it into Coral Draw and see what we can do with it. Maybe some leggings, pardon me, swimsuits or an LED floating lamp, uh, which I would love to show you how to do those uh, in a tutorial. So might do all three. I really like this design. So I think leggings, swimsuit and an LED lamp, possibly some t-shirts as well, will look pretty cool. All right, guys, sorry about the shakes. I'll take a photo of this now and I'll see you in the next section of the tutorial. Ciao. Okay guys, here we are in the Coral Draw tutorial section of the tutorial. So I've brought in a picture that I took of the the pore, the well we can't call really call it an acrylic pore because it was done with um with screen printing ink with uh, acrylic base, um, which I'll go I think I went into a bit of detail with that in the poor video but quickly touch base again as I'm going through this so I take photos of the um, the artwork uh, while it's still wet uh, because the colors are then very vibrant and glossy and they just come out better in a digital photo so the area here is what I'm interested in the most and I'm going to do two or three separate tutorials with this um, piece here, this graphic, because I really like it. Um, the one I'm going to do today is another swimsuit, and we'll take you through the whole process. And then in a few days' time, when I am free to do the screen work, the to um, drag all the colours out of this, the yellow, magenta, cyan, black, I will put that through my Epson printer, print out the positives, burn the screens and take you through the process of how I screen print fabric with this design and make floating LED lamps. And at the end of that, if you want to buy one of the lamps, you can go through to my Etsy store. Same with everything I do on here. I like to show what I do, it creates a bit of interest. Some people are interested in it. Some people... Um, are just interested in it for the sake of it looks cool on a video and other people like it because it looks cool and they want to wear it. Either way, I'm happy to facilitate that. So without any further ado, let's go. Let's get this part of the graphic that I like, <clears throat> which is, what's that doing there? Get that out of the way. Go from about here through to here. Bring that down a little bit. See this big blue bit, this bit here, all down here I'm not wrapped with. So well, it's a process of elimination, guys. <clears throat> so there it is there. Now I'm not sure whether I'm going to bring it together, the two opposing sides here or down here. But I need to get rid of some more of this noise. So how we do that. I'm going to do this, grab my eraser, make it bigger, there we go, I'm even bigger, yeah, that should do it, I'm just going to come in here and just get rid of this so I can play with it a bit better, okay, pardon me, and this bottom <coughs> piece here as well, I sort of want to get rid of a bit of that, just so it's easier for me. Okay, so let's zoom out of that and let's play with that. So let's flip it, transform, 
here we are. Let's flip it. Didn't flip. Oh, didn't save my pre settings. So we'll put 90 degree angle and apply. Bang. There it is there. So I know it looks a bit funny there, and you're probably thinking, oh, how's he gonna, you know, get get a swimsuit out of that? Well, I'm about to show you. So uh <clears throat> All right, I think what I'm gonna do is just grab this section diagonally right through here, and we're gonna work with that. I think is going to be the best bet. Although, although, let's copy that, paste it, click off, click on, flip it that way, and let's use the arrow keys on the keyboard to bring that across. <clears throat> Let's just see what we see here with that. Because keep in mind, oh god, that looks hideous, that thing, but that's all right, that won't be in there. So keep in mind, this is the um, guidelines for the printful swimsuit, just the front part. I don't bother with the back part, there's really no need. <clears throat> so I just paste this in because I want to see something. You see how the swimsuit goes up into the arms here. This is kind of what's happening here. So experience tells me that I can get away with, with keeping this in and having this come up here onto the shoulder straps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, grab both of these, click, uh, hit the T button on my computer. <clears throat> Actually, what I'll do, guys, I'll just quickly show you that a little bit better. So let's say this is down here. Um, and it's okay in the middle, but it's down there and you want to get it exactly. So you just grab them both and you hit the letter T and it brings it up in perfect alignment. Now how to check that the white line in the middle is gone. Uh, see the white line is gone, but it's out here. So that means one of these can come out wider, but not that wide. So we just bring it in a tiny smidge. Bang. See the difference there? Sometimes you can use the arrows on your keyboard and and sometimes you can't and you have to just use your mouse and the cursor. And from a distance, it looks like there's a white line there, doesn't it? But when you come in with the magnifier, it has actually gone. So you can be confident that when this is printed out big onto a swimsuit or whatever it is you're doing, that it won't be there, that white line. You're just going to have to trust me on that. <clears throat> Okay, so let's turn it into a bitmap. 300 DPI, anti-aliasing, transparent background, click go. <clears throat> now, actually, I'll just take you back and move because I want to show you something. So you've clicked on both, you come to bitmap, you convert it to a bitmap. Now, in the Printful um, website, they kind of stipulate that you should really do all of your artwork in CMYK and then when you, and you should upload it into their um, uh, uploading thing for the art files in CMYK, because when they get it, they translate it from CMYK to RGB. So, or some, I, I can't remember exactly what it is, but look, honestly, I've never had an issue. I always just do RGB, so, but, you know, don't take my word for it. Verify for yourself. Okay, so we've turned it into a bitmap and now we need the image to come and fill up this entire area or at least most of it. So we have to click off and we've got the measurements up here that I'm circling here and that is the correct dimensions for the printful template for your artwork files to go into for a swimsuit. So let's do that now. So I've clicked on the artwork we come up here, this is the quickest way to do it. So 3750 wide by 5250 high and click enter. And there we go. So let's just bring that right into the, 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 the grid there. <clears throat> and now let's go back to objects so you can see what it is I've selected. Here's the bitmap here. And you can see you can select over here and it does it as well. So you just grab that. And I want to make sure that these straps, see, they're not covered. <coughs> so what we can do there to bring these this artwork <coughs> up in, oh, sorry, I'll zoom in. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. 
you see here the artwork's trailing off up here and up here as well and it's not going up on the straps where I want it to go and because I like that graphic I don't want to lose it this is what I'm going to do I'm going to come into the graphic just this section here that I I like and want and I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go to view and we want to go to or hang on no, it's been a while since I've done this one. Layout, view, no, object. Uh, I actually think, from memory, it's either transform, skew, no, it is object. Effects, sorry, effects, adjust, transform. It's one of these ones down here. From memory, uh, correction, transform. No, it's not transform, it's not adjust. Was it edit? Have I missed it over here? Damn. It's been a while since I've done this one. Quick Trace, 3D Strokes, Color Transform, Texture Sharpen, Noise, ah, Distort. So we want to go into Bitmaps, the, the Bitmaps um, Docker up there, or whatever you call it, and come into Distort, and we want Mesh Warp. So we go Mesh Warp, <clears throat> and it'll tell you here how many things you want here. So I want a few more than that, so let's just bring the grid lines to the next one. And instead of giving us four, it now gives us five. I think we'll go another one from there. It's all just a little bit of trial and error, guys. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to bring this up here, and I'm going to do the same with this one here, like right up. And you see how it flicks it up? It's pretty snazzy. And we go here, and we go here in the same spot, pretty much. Go there. All right, so it's a little bit off. Let's just bring that down a bit. That looks better. So we click OK. <clears throat> and you see we haven't made the artwork do anything totally ridiculous. So I'll just turn my iPad off again. Sorry. No, there's not something else you can do. <laughs> Siri. OK, so <clears throat> as I was saying, it hasn't made the artwork look totally silly so let's bring this back in and go over the top okay so it hasn't come across enough uh, but instead of mm, yeah no we'll bring it across a bit more let's click on that go to bitmap we'll go to distort go to mesh warp once again and it's remembered we've got the six things there so what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to bring this middle bit up as well a little bit and these two here right across, there's one, there's two, and this one as well. We're going to see what that does. That's a bit too much, is it, or not? Uh, might be right. Let's have a look. Okay, so that's brought over a bit more. Now we'll bring this in. And we'll have a look. Bingo! We got it. But there's a funny white thing here. So... <clears throat> Oh, it's just looking pretty cool. Look at that. Okay, there's a bit of stuff down here in the crutch area. We may have to deal with that. Or oh, not may, we will. Okay. <clears throat> so let's take that off of there. And let's just have a look at this middle section again. So let's try the mesh warp again. Let's go to distort, mesh warp. Okay, so in order to get that white V out of there. We kind of have to play around with these things here. We'll bring that one up. We'll bring this one up. And we'll bring this one up, like right up. But that's distorted it too much. It's now looking a bit, bit silly. But let's have a look, because what looks silly there may not really necessarily look silly in totality. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, so we've sorted out this area here. This isn't necessarily what we're going to go with, guys. See, if I don't like it or I don't get it to work properly, I can always undo a, a heap of moves and go back that way and start again. And you can also flip it and rotate it, do all sorts of things. It's pretty handy. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to go mesh warp again and we're just going to bring 
this section down a little bit to get rid of that um what can we call it that sounds cool and not sort of silly that you know to clean up a crutch area on a swimsuit so it doesn't look like you know something that it's not supposed to look like and look unflattering kind of thing so we'll just bring that down a little bit more it's gone a bit skew with there there it is a tiny bit more okay click OK and let's see what we see here now okay so look that's better than it was and this thing here is going to go underneath so you won't even see that um, this area here still may cause us issues and even though I'm very experienced at this occasionally like you look at something and you'll just go oh, I'm not sure you know but you never know until you go to the mock-up generator so now let's bring that back in one more time and then yeah look I'm I'm happy with that in terms of everything that's in the guidelines here all of these things here and the straps and everything I'm happy with all of that so the only thing that's left to do now <clears throat> is to get rid of this delete it because I'm going to save this graphic from here ah okay another thing as well because this graphic is a bit skew if it's not square um, and they like a square square graphic so what we do is we create a box to the same dimensions so it's 3750 by 5250 and then click off and then click in and click white left click white and then right click white and then just bring it over to the side of it and then grab both and click C and T buttons on your keyboard and then come over to the right here grab what it says rectangle left click it and pull it down underneath it's not going to do it pull it down underneath the bitmap like so and then that'll be there but before you send it away you've got to select them both click on bitmap convert to bitmap 300 dpi rgb click go <coughs> and it's done so now we go to file we go export and we're going to do swimsuits with this one so sorry art files uh, swimsuits one piece swimsuits art files is what we want and we're going to call this one uh, well I won't call it Shelly art even though I use the the cell activator from hers and her recipe for the medium I'm just so I know the difference because this artwork was done with inks so we'll call it um, ink and Shelly art Ooh. ink and Shelly art ink and Shelly art yeah I'm happy with that it's only for me so I remember historically speaking uh, okay Whew, looks pretty spunky all right so now we come out of here we come into printful this is my print full uh, admin area so we want to click down here on the left mock-up generator <coughs> excuse me and we want to select swimsuits here and because it's a light color let's just go back to it uh, hmm, white stitch or black stitch mm. honestly I think you could get away with either on that design jeez uh, I just don't know I'll just go with white I don't think it's that important but anyway okay so we've got to upload the design in come out of me leggings we go swimsuits one piece art files and where is it here it is open <coughs> pardon me sorry guys I've got a bit of a bit of congestion <coughs> probably from the vaping I don't know <laughs> anyway. 
you it. Onward and upward. Here it is. Click cheers. And there it is there. And while we're here, before we go in a mock-up view, we'll select it for the back as well. Same thing. I don't worry with the, the back template um, like I showed you in Coral Draw when I was doing the front because you can manipulate everything in here with the functionality that's in the admin portal anyway. So, okay, I didn't see that before. There's a bit of white showing there, but it, you're not going to see that anyway. So... <clears throat> Okay, so let's go to the mock-up view and see what we see. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Wow, okay. That's pretty profound, isn't it? Not sure I like the big chunks of blue through here. I think that's a bit detracting. I'm happy with the crutch area that there's nothing down there that's detracting, if you know what I mean. It's... It's not hideous. Uh, okay, so the back. The back is, I think that's acceptable. The sides, wow, the sides came up nice, especially through here. There's a bit of white in that blue uh, webbing, whatever they call it. I don't know, spider's webs or cells or... I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> anyway okay, so... Let's go back to file view and let's play around here a little bit. Let's just see if we can get it looking a bit better. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's see what this is going to look like with the crutch area. So we'll do this. No, we'll leave it like that. Just the front. We'll go mock up. <coughs> we'll see how that looks. Oh, hello. No, that's no good. That's no good. Okay, so I actually like the blue, what the blue's doing here now with it flipped up rather than how it was with a big splosh of blue. But obviously, this is an, a very big issue. See what I mean? This is, until you get to the mock-up generator, you just don't know. So, okay, so the back and that is what it is. All right, so let's go back to file view. That's the front. So the other thing you can do... How did I get that big white thing in there? Uh, well, what we can do is just grab the file and bring it down to an acceptable level, hopefully without detracting from there too much. Okay. All right, guys. <clears throat> let's, um, let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of the artwork on the front and the back. And let's go back into Coral Drawer and fix this up. Okay, so uh, where did the white come from? Because that was the straps. How did... Oh, okay, sorry. Jeez, I understand now. Okay. All right, so... Because I flipped the artwork up the other way and the straps were down the bottom as opposed to being up the top. Okay, so we... Didn't actually want it that way, did we? We wanted to flip it up, so that's what we'll do there. And you see, best laid plans can go south, you know what I mean? Like I went to all that trouble and I made all this artwork come in for the straps and, and yet then once you go in the mock-up generator, you realise that it was not the best looking thing for that particular area. So, with that being in mind, let's click on bitmaps again. We've selected the object. Go back to distort. Go to mesh warp. And let's... We shouldn't need any more of... Oh, hang on. Oh, it's, it's up here. It's flipped it around to its original um, position, even though I've flipped it over here. It's flipped it back in here. Okay, so we want to bring all this in. So we want to bring this up like that because we want to cover that area that's now white in the crutch so let's just do that and that now should not be any kind of issue <clears throat> so let's click OK and let's go over and see it so uh, click on file go export and go down to where it is. Here it is here. 
we want to superimpose this across to this one and get rid of this one. So we just click on it and it selects the same name to here and you just click export. Yes, we know it exists and yes, we want to replace it. And it'll come into here, it'll generate, click OK. Now we go back to the mock-up generator. So we click on front, we go choose file, <coughs> excuse me, we get rid of this one and we upload the new one which is right hither. Big time. All right, let's choose that. There it is there. Okay, so there's still a tiny bit of white here, but the it probably won't show up when the mock-ups are done okay so i'm happy with that for the front let's bring it in also for the back choose the file <clears throat> select choose i'll just bring in my inside label now I'm getting confident we're almost there guys number four and this will be available in my shop too guys and yeah if you like this sort of stuff Please don't be afraid to click the like button and subscribe to my channel and click the grey bell next to that and you'll get all of my videos instantaneously in your feed. How wonderful would that be? All right, so we're in the mock-up view and I'm much happier with that uh, than I was before and as you can see, you don't even see the white um, yuckiness that was there a minute ago. So I'm happy with that. So let's have a look at the sides. Yeah, the sides were really cool from memory. Yeah, look at all that. Oh, nice. Lovely. And the back. Okay, the back's not hideous. <clears throat> it's actually quite nice, but there is a little bit of a white thing coming through there, which ain't bad. But look, let's go back to the file view, go to the back one, and let's flip it up the other way and see what we can see. Okay, now we go back to the mock-up view. Do, 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 do. Okay, the front we're happy with and we want to see the back. Bang. I'm very happy with that and it doesn't look too ridiculous down here although it is a bit dark it prob probably would be better with something like that on there uh yes well hmm yes sides good sides good front is good and we want to make sure that the back is in keeping with the front without anything ridiculous down here hmm. all right uh, <clears throat> yeah I'm not sold on the back thing that brown thing down the bottom and everything else around it is quite spunky and then that's like a big dirty patch um, and the front one was the front flip it up again and the front one had a little white line there didn't it so what if we just bring that down a little bit for the back and not lose anything there like that okay it's still there that's good all right uh let's go back to mock-up view so i've just brought that down a little bit because that that image that um Placement of the image looks better than the one that I had that had the big dirty patch here. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Okay. <clears throat> now, this is just one design, guys, that out of that one fluid uh, acrylic pour that I did. Sorry, uh, half acrylic, half screen printing ink. So, I mean, there's a gazillion different designs you can do of it. This is just one I've shown you out of the um, tutorial. Uh, you know, I'm going to do a lamp out of this and leggings as well. And obviously it'll be a little bit different. So, you know, 
It's a great, great design. I love it. The colours, the the blue sort of cell lines, the webbing through there, absolutely awesome. And there's also a, a bunch of other things I can do as well. So <clears throat> what I might do, just to show you what I'm rambling on about, is to grab this, make a copy of it, grab that, and use one of my programs over here. You see this blue, how it's still got a bit of white going through it? I'll just, once this is the program's opened, I'll just zoom in and show you better what I mean. You see how there's some white in the middle of the blue? What I want to do is see, I'm going to pull the white out of it, okay? With a special program I've got. And then I'm going to copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste this white. Get it looking really vibrant. And I'm going to superimpose it over this and take it back into the mock-up generator and see if it looks any better. So uh, the best way to do that is before I go ahead and do that, let's generate all these files because I want to show you the difference and I want to see the difference myself. Never worry about these three. So now we go to the bottom, we select JPEG. I don't worry about the print files yet. I do all that later when I'm happy with everything and I actually upload uh, the design into my Etsy store and then I sync it across with Printful. I just find that for me personally is easier. It takes forever to upload um, the files because they're so big. <clears throat> Okay, that's downloading. So we'll just let that download. So we'll come back into Coral Draw, and we've selected it. So I want to. This is an advanced tools thing which I got from uh, Advanced T-shirts. Um, if you're interested, guys, uh, my friend uh, has this business, and this is how I learned to do all the the graphics stuff that I do. Um, my mate Thomas Knight. Um, puts together these really cool tools. So Simple Seps Raster, which is what I'm going to use now, <coughs> excuse me, is a great little tool because it uh, drags the colors out of your image and then you can make um, film work for those uh, either in um, half tones or, or uh, uh, solids. So so in Autoseps here, you, there's your yellow cyan and magenta. If you wanted to pull uh, the CMYK range out of your image, you'd click these three buttons. And before you click on Clickseps, which generates them, you would then come into Clickseps and also select the black one here. And then you would click Clickseps and it would drag your yellow, magenta, cyan and black out. But that's not what we want today I'll just want to grab the highlight whites which will give us all this so I just select that just make sure I didn't select them yep no and then we click on clicks oh a funny thing about this even though you've clicked on your image and then you open this program uh, it, it, it actually kicks you off the image so you've got to come back in click it again and then select what you want and then click click steps so this might take a few seconds, guys. So I will pause this and come back because it's such a big file. All right, guys, we're back. The program has finished drawing the white out of the image. I know you can't see it, neither can I, because it's white. So we just make a black box. <clears throat> we click on the image, go back to objects so we can see where it is. Okay, so we actually want that on top of the rectangle so we can see what the white has done. <clears throat> okay, this is where it can get a little bit tricky. So pay attention, guys, if this is something that you end up wanting to do for yourself. Okay, so the white has been highlighted and the black is coming through because it is uh, a transparency. So what we want is we want the white to be whiter than that. And the only way to do that is to go copy and paste. See how much wider that gets. Let's try one more, copy and paste. That's too much. Let's get rid of one. Let's go delete. Okay, now what we do is we get rid of the rectangle, just delete that. We select the two images 
guys, this may not work because sometimes it doesn't. So we select them both. We've got to make them one image. So we go bitmap, convert to bitmap, 300 DPI. Wait for that to finish. Then we copy it and we come back over to our work, which is here. And we right click and paste it in. Now it's not centered. So what we want to do is select it all and click C and T and then it'll be centered. Now, unfortunately, <clears throat> the white has, in certain areas, washed out the color, but the webbing, the webbing is now really got a nice white line through it. But, you know what? Even if I could just get rid of all this other stuff and have all the colors come through, I think that I like it better like that. So, mm, yeah, it's going to be too much of a mission to come in here and get rid of all the white here, which is drowning out the color, uh, to just bring in a crackly white definition over there. <clears throat> Yeah, look, for me to do that, it's not that I wouldn't do it, but for the sake of this tutorial, I won't do it because it's just going to take a long time for me to do that. So I'm happy with that. So let's leave it like that. Let's come out of Coral Draw. We've, we've, we've uploaded, we've generated the images. So we come into Downloads. Here they are here. Left click, then right click, Extract All. Yes, extract them here. And that'll open up the file with all the model comps, which will give us a much better idea of how that graphic looks on a proper model comp. So why isn't it letting me select it? Cheeky bugger. Here we go. Okay, and I want to start on this one. This is my favourite model, this one. <clears throat> I think she's uh, quite fetching. And, and all my artwork looks pretty wicked on this one. <coughs> But you can't just do it on the same one every time. Part of me. I forgot to say part of me. Sorry. Oh, I just had a sandwich. Yeah. All right. It's going to take a second to load up. Hang on, guys. Let me pause it. Oh, it's going. No, nope. pause. There it is. Okay. Yeah, look, I'm happy with that. There's a funny little white thing there, but that's all right. It's nothing hideous. I really like everything going on in here. Um, so let's flick through and have a look at the other ones. The sides looking cool. Oh, yeah. Damn. Looking fine. My artwork, of course, I mean. Yeah. Model's all right. Uh, well, jeez. Looking cool. Yeah, that looks cool. Ooh, what's happened there? No, that's all right. Oh, okay. It's a bit of a white thing there. What's going on there? Maybe I didn't drag the... and But then now it's not there. Interesting. Yeah, no, it should be fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Yep. Wow, looks cool. All right. <clears throat> so I'm happy with all of that. So that completes that tutorial for today guys i hope you found it enjoyable there will be lots more coming your way real soon with the current pandemic situation i do have a bit of time up my sleeves to focus on doing more of this uh, fluid pause the acrylic pause using the shelly art uh, method and recipe once again guys if you're interested in this um I did the Shelly Art course. It was, I think, $99, and I learned so much from that. Um, and her videos, she's a lovely, lovely lady, and took her two years to um, come up with her cell activator recipe from many trial and errors and practice, practice, practice. Um, you know, she's well respected in the community and the course is so informative um, and it just took my designs, as you can see, to the next level. Ah, it's not even going to show it. Oh, here it is, to the next level. Well, my designs before using the Shelley Art technique weren't hideous, but 
These, these ones are just on a different level. The cells, the webbing, whatever it is you call that, that blue streaky stuff through there is just mind blowing. I, you know, the first one I did, I did with my four year old son and we just both couldn't believe the difference. Anyway, guys, thanks again. If you like this sort of stuff, please uh, hit the like button, leave a nice comment. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, hit the grey bell next to subscribe and then select the grey bell on the top and you'll receive all my videos in your feed instantaneously. All right, guys. Thanks. Ciao. Can we alone in the castle in the sky? We can run.